It is an honor to induct these guys into the Canadian Music Hall of Fame. The Bare Naked Ladies! Bare Naked Ladies. <laughs> Guys, I'm not crying, you're crying. I hadn't seen the other guys in years, so to be there together with them, with an audience cheering us on, was deeply emotional. Hi, I'm Stephen Page, and this is my Juno moment. And we thank you for this. Thanks to Steve for starting this journey with me, and to the guys for continuing it. Thanks to my family. My kids, Isaac, Ben, and Jonah, my wife, Christine, my parents. I was so happy to have my kids there with me. They were as proud of me as I was of us. I mean, they, they grew up with this band. It was going to dad's work. Those songs mean a lot to them. And, uh, you know, I think they have a certain sense of pride for seeing their dad get some kind of recognition. I'm certainly proud that they're proud. <laughs> We hadn't performed together as the five of us in uh, almost 10 years at that point. When you're just standing there performing, that part for us is so natural. And to be, walk on there, put my in-air monitors in, and it's as if nothing had changed. Obviously, personally, all kinds of things had changed. And we had had, both had careers outside, away from each other. But for those moments, it felt just as natural as it did 15 years before that. I thought, I don't remember how to play this. And then as soon as I put the guitar on and they went one, two, three, it's been, it was right there. It's just right in my hands. Singing If I Had a Million Dollars was such an amazing moment. Because a song like that, uh, that we wrote when we were 18 years old, you know, on the school bus on the way back from music camp in 1988. There's people in the audience who still know the song. Like, it's like we wrote a campfire song. And there aren't that many people who can say that they wrote a song that generations of people in Canada and around the world know and love. Maybe a nice gesture, feel or an there we were getting to share all those memories that those people in the audience have. <laughs> memories that they that may have nothing to do with me or Bare Naked Ladies or anything else. They're, it's about that song and its place in their lives. And I find that so deeply moving. But it's pretty awesome. I, I still I still run into people who were there at the show who held on to their Bare Naked Ladies million dollar bills. Here they are. The fact that I take this with me to bed every night, um, does that describe the kind of whether this was a highlight of my career or not? Um, you know, I'm not holding on to the past. I'm just holding on to this, okay? So that was just such an amazing moment that I'll never forget. And I mean, it never gets old.